In Lincoln, Nebraska, you'll find a brewery built on a historic spot, a place where people meet, laugh, and share each other's company. I knew I wanted to start it, but then when I started penciling in the math behind it, there was definitely no way I was going to be able to afford it. Sure. And so I started talking to some friends and we got some ideas going. We figured out how we could afford it. Um, and really, so three of us were able to form Blue Blood Brewing Company. It was about bringing people together. It's about having a spot to go have a beer and enjoy company and um, not worry about what's happening outside those walls, but really what's happening in front of you right then. When they were deciding on their new location, the Blue Blood team chose to build on top of a local landmark, which was just one more way to include the community in their story. This is a real cave. This is yes. amazing. You can see on the walls there's all sorts of carvings. So this represents about 150 years worth of carvings. We're just keepers of it for the, for the time being. Um, someday somebody else will own it, you know, it's, that's the kind of thing, the idea we have to have behind it and that's where we really hope we're bringing the community together behind it because that's where Blue Blood is successful is, it's a community company, it's not just ours. One beer that we do that's really important to me is called Last Call. Anybody's ever been to a, a funeral of a police officer or a firefighter, that last radio call is extremely hard to take and um, so we want to do a beer to honor them that way, and that's what we've done there. So that's, that's kind of my beer that's uh, most important to me. That's awesome. So as you think about going after one of your dreams, I hope that Brian's story reminds you to take a breath, to laugh a little, to surround yourself with some friends, some family, some community. Because when you do that, it makes the journey a whole lot richer. <laughs>